just <laughs> So hey folks, hope these are all well, just out in a little jaunt, and it's the 22nd of November today, got my heated grips on, first ride out with the heated grips, fantabulous so they are. So it's 4 degrees C and as I said we're nearly on December. It's about four weeks till Christmas. Oh my goodness, four weeks till Christmas. It's a lot of fallen leaves, big piles of mulch in the bins and stuff. So you have to be careful this time of year while riding. So here we are at Lanark Loch. And you could have been out about five times there, missus. So I'm just going to have a wee smoke break. As far away from civilization as possible. Oh, I really can hardly speak today. It is four degrees. Four degrees C. But no, it's a lovely spot this. A lovely wee spot. Goodness, there must be 50 swans there. Wonder what they taste like. Oh, here we go, some real mud action here. Okay, not really. There's a road I'm actually going to go down that I was fooled into going down on the MT125 a couple of years back and it was actually my scariest motorcycle experience so far. <laughs> Because it was a lovely smooth tarmac road and then it got a bit broken up in places with the odd strip of grass up the middle sort of thing then it turned into full on mud fest oh god I've got a sore leg I was up and down ladders yesterday quite a long or quite a lot of times so my right thigh is don't know as if I've pulled something So here we are, down at Lanark Lake. <laughs> Lanark Lake. I'm calling it a lake now and everything. It's mad how the, the cold just gets to your brain. <laughs> so I'll have a wee break and then I'll get back on it. <laughs> back in, slide night on me a wee bit there. I was down to go in the grass there, but wet grass, no thanks. Although they, I believe these are a 50-50 tyre. These Metzler, Metzler Tourans, is it? Something like that. So now I'm just out for a quick hour or so not 
not really been out much recently. The week after getting my cold, not, not my cold, my flu and Covid jig. The, got a bit of a cold. I was off work for about five days, eh, four days in fact. And then I went back into a shitload of work from the previous week when I was off. I managed up to the Brigger Turk tea room. That was the first time I'd been out in ages. To do German Jobbies treasure hunt challenge. Quite enjoyed it, it was quite a nice, nice ride. The weather was pretty drizzly the whole way up, really. Uh, then a bit pissy wet coming back, but nice day out. Nice winter ride. I don't mind riding in the shitty weather. I've certainly ridden enough, enough of it over the years. No intention, uh, no intentions when I first started riding to be an all weather rider, an all season rider. I thought good weather, wow, that would be awesome. But I was obviously forgetting where I live in the world, and there's more wet days than dry days in this country. Almost 4,000 miles. I think it had 2, 250 on it when I got it. I'm sure it was 2, 250. So nearly a couple of thousand miles. And it is flawless. Okay, it's got some flaws. I can't think of any, but it's got some. I'll think of them one day. Oh, the minute. It's still doing its job. And its job is to just keep me happy. So the weather is supposed to get quite chilly over the next few days. And we'll see a bit of ice. So, I'll take four and a half degrees like today has been a, a hot one. So there we go, 4,000 miles. <laughs> I'm not doing rev bombs. Doesn't sound too great on this. I'll possibly put a slip on on it actually. I'll buy the cheapest one I can find. I don't mean an AliExpress one. After them heated grips, I'm not buying anything off them again. Oh no, I bought them off of eBay. Phew! <laughs> Can't knock AliExpress. Although they all come from China, these cheap parts. Some of them are fine. Some of them are identical to the real deal stuff, you know, but... People, it's like anything else, some people want badges on things, labels. I'm not really that guy. The 
just got my sports gloves or my summer gloves on today in fact I've got my winter ones on the tail box just in case it rained, it wasn't supposed to rain so saying that it wasn't supposed to rain yesterday when I was up a ladder replacing broken guttering on my house so I see it was made up of like two, le two full lengths and a, par a partial length so I bought three lengths and it's just too short <laughs> it's un unbelievable obviously the lengths are different lengths mm. so that was a pain in the ass but now what had happened is a, a tile had fell off the roof and slid down the roof and took a chunk out of the gutter and it was right at the very end the furthest away from the downpipe so anytime it rained pretty heavy uh, the water would just pour over the gutter so no more it's fixed I'm going to replace all the, the downpipe and all that as well but I'll wait till the warmer weather road ahead closed don't see any closed roads I think they're tripping uh, you're going to turn or what mate? goodness I'm just going to leave us at that folks Just a little quickie as I said I suppose I better wish you all a Merry Christmas when it comes And I'd like to thank you all for Tuning in Throughout the last year Throughout the last 10 years some of you So I'm enjoying doing the motor vlogging and bike content. It's good fun. It's healthy. Being out and about. Getting some fresh air. Sometimes too fresh. <laughs> so peace out. Take it easy. And cheers for watching. Adios. Merry Christmas when it comes. Cheers. So coming up in a future video, I drop in to check out a couple of very famous BMW GSAs. Familiar. I also popped into my local BMW Motorrad dealer, Douglas Park, to check out some more modern equivalents as well as the new R1300 GS models. Very nice. Nice and flesh. And there is the headlight formerly known as Twitter. So take it easy folks. Peace out. Take care.